Hello everyone, Mitch and Nick here, another monthly pickups video, so short month, but picked up a few items, so without further ado, let me show you what I got. So, I think this is uh, one I'm about to show you is what I uh, got from Craig Retro Station, uh, but um, still some good titles. Um, the American versions of um, Ease or Wise, or however you pronounce it, I think it's pronounced Ease, but a lot of people say Wise, uh, free. Uh, Wanderers from Wise or Ease Free. So that's what I've got uh, for the Super Nintendo, uh, the American version. And also, I got Contra 3 The Alien Wars, which would have been Pro Protector or Super Pro Protector over here in UK or Europe. So, yeah, happy to have these um, in my SNES collection because I'm it's building up quite a bit now. And I think. Is this? No, this is the game purchase. What I got up next, and that is Mario Party Island Tour for the 3DS. So I played a little bit, and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best Mario Party game, but it's it's it's, it's simple. It basically, aim, aims to get to the end of the board as quickly as possible. So that's basically it with some mini games thrown in. So a good game overall. So I have to play a bit of multiplayer to see how good it really is, but. Yes, um, a, a, a good um, portable version of Mario Party. We can play it for 15, 20 minutes or a bit more. So yeah, that's good for the 3DS. And for the DS, I picked these up. These are very cheap uh, from game because I think they had a bit of a sale on for some pre-owned stuff. First off, we have Orcs and Elves. Um, it's by EA. Uh, no idea if it's any good or not. So uh, look, looks alright. Like a um, uh, du dungeon crawler um, by the creators of uh, Doom RPG, which I've never played or really heard of until this game. But yep, yeah. um, fortunately, just the game in there, no manual. But oh well, I didn't pay too much for it, pound or two maybe. But yeah, that's another game for a collection. And also, I got this um, chameleon with a K. So basically it's like a sort of bejeweled, sort of, or is it not bejeweled? Um, it's basically a puzzle game where you match the colours up and then get points. So it's one of those sort of games. Uh, so there's the back. Uh, again, I think this was only like a pound or something, or a pound or two from the game. It wasn't very much at all. Uh, yep, so it's a, bit of a simple little puzzle game, so I can't really, really moan at that. And lastly for the DS, I've got uh, this, which is not technically a game, but then it's on the, on the DS, so... And this is a uh, 100 Classics Books coll Collection. Get the words out right. Uh, classic Book Collection. So yeah, basically it has uh, 100 different books, so you have anything from Treasure Island, Oliver Twist, uh, Ice in Wonderland, and also a few, few prey such as... Um, Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet, so yeah, for 100 books in, to, in the one DS, I think this is really cheap, about 49p, so that is quite quite cheap, so can't really make it that. And um, it'll be good to be, take on either actually, so uh, oh, within, within this little car cartridge there's 100 books, so it's hard, hard to imagine that nowadays with the technology available that you can put loads of books onto one little cartridge where back back in the day um, you wouldn't, you'd have to take a whole book or you'd be looking to uh, fit one book onto a cartridge um, potentially but yeah so that's a um, really cool selection of uh, DS games and while we're on the subject of Nintendo let's go on to the GameCube so these ones I picked up from uh, CEX so mm, not too, too much, a uh, couple of quid each or so. First off we have uh, Reckless. So it's kind of like um, Burnouts I think, but uh, no idea if it's any good, it's by Activision. So yeah, I'll have to give it a tr try at some point, but yeah. Uh, first one is Reckless. And another racing game is it, which is Extreme G3. Uh, which, uh, I've, again, I've no idea, but it's another racing game. I think it's a mo motorbike uh, racing game, I believe, looking from the screenshots of the back. So, yep, yeah, that's uh, again another GameCube game to watch collection. And for the Wii, uh, another pickup from game, 
Uh, godt. Um, um, what's it called? Um, Diabolic, uh, the original sin. Uh, no idea what, what it's like. It seems like it's a sort of a uh, investigation game. So it could, it could be good or it might not be. I mean, who knows? But uh, I think about 99p for that, so can't complain. And last game we got from game, which is a 360 game, is Perfect Dark Zero. So this is the, uh, the Steel Case Edition. I uh, haven't got the co cover with it, but for 99 nice bees, can't complain, so there we are, and there's the inside. So yeah, it's all completely, uh, disc is in good condition, and the case is in pretty good condition, so that's a Game Boy Rare, I don't know how good it is on the 360, compared with the Nintendo 64 version, I'll have to do a comparison at some point, but yeah, so for 99 p can't complain. And last two items. Um, first off, I'll show you the strategy guide, which I got from a charity shop. I paid about uh, just under two pounds. So I've got um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, which is um, second, third game on PS PS2, but is more of a spin-off of. And now we're we on to GTA 5, and and it's based in San Andreas, but. Yeah, so I got this is all complete, and the map hasn't been taken out, so that's pretty cool because I think it's uh, it's get it can get get torn out, but um, hasn't been torn out, so that's pretty cool. So a lot of information on on the original San Andreas game, so that's pretty cool. It's a strategy collection, and finally, but going back to GTA, back or back to San Andreas rather, we have for the PS3. Grand Theft Auto 5, so now I've got a copy on the 360 and the PS3 now, so friend, friends of mine can, um, I can play on um, on the 360 and the PS3, so that's pretty cool and also gives me an excuse to play the game again, so yeah, I didn't pay too much, this is pre-owned, so I only saved myself a couple of quid by getting a pre-owned copy, but um, since it's a Blu-ray disc, it doesn't really get scratched uh, very easily, so... I was willing to take the risk of getting a pre-owned copy of this on the PS3 rather than the 360 because the discs aren't uh, more likely to, to scratch. But yeah, that's uh, what I got. So I'll be playing a bit of this um, um, uh, shortly, or not long after doing this video. And yeah, I think that's it. I can't remember if there's anything I forgot, but nah, that's pretty, pretty much it. So. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah, sorry it was so short. The uh, batch is about to die, so I need to uh, finish this off quickly. So, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and until next time, I will see you later. Tra.